am Mari Asp, I'm 34, and I am from Norway, living in California. I've been training people um, since I moved here in 2002, so for seven years, and I offer all kinds of training, with, since my background is from gymnastics, powerlifting, fitness, bench pressing, anything from weight loss to weight gain to acrobatics, flexibility, and mainly to reach your goals. The United States Marine Corps powerlifting team training. Actually, young guys that you know, are willing to give their life for their country, and I think that that's a, you know, my way of giving back to them a little. Got an incredible, you know, they're very inspirational for me to train too. And they work hard, hard too. I mean, they work out hard. <laughs> it's fun. Yeah, I like that. It's fun for me to train them to, you know, to see someone who just they're just so hungry. Uh, I started off with gymnastics. That was uh, that was. Uh, five when I started in a club. I did gymnastics till I was 17. I started competing when I was probably, I don't know, first seven, I guess, when I had the first one, and then kept going, and I made the national team at age 12. National champion in vault, because that was my best in floor exercise. And I competed around the world. Then I got injured. My last competition in gymnastics, I got injured, I injured my knee, and I was, I was 17, kind of starting feeling a little older, and I was like, this is it, it's done. Then I had this guy in my school class who took me to this powerlifting gym. I got kind of inspired by who's now my best friend, Lena Johansson, to try some fitness competition, and I did, and won the nationals in Norway in that. And then um, I decided in 2002 to come over here and, you know, give it a shot. Came to Venice, started at Gold's Gym. I was here for a while, you know, started training people at Gold's Gym Venice, and uh, decided I needed to compete in something, because. I'm competitive. I just looked online and found a bench press meet in 2003 and went in and did that. And I benched uh, 236 pounds the first time. The next meet was a few months later and I started breaking the American bench press record. The first meet I did was a raw meet, so I didn't use any equipment. And then I got the bench press shirt, you know, that you're using in, in bench press. Then I started training with Charles, the bodybuilding guru in golf gym, famous bodybuilding trainer. Him and I have a lot of the same background from gymnastics and stuff, get along really good, and my bench just went up from, uh, yeah, 236, and then boom, I was way over 300. Bench press, it's genetics, first of all, I think. It's, uh, I got short arms, so it's not that far to lift. <laughs> and uh, I got strong triceps. There's also a lot of technique, and from my gymnastics days, I'm flexible with my back, I can arch and I use my triceps and my shoulders. And yeah, in 2004 I decided I wanted to try a strong woman contest. So I did that. I had never tried any of the events or nothing. I simulated everything in the gym. I just tried to, you know, with whatever's inside the gym to simulate all the events from tire flipping to uh, Conan's wheel and to, you know, log press and all of that. And uh, the last one was to pull an F-14 airplane. I got an injury at the state meet in actually 2006. I bench pressed uh, in my second lift. Something happened in my shoulder and my tricep. It hurt, but I went in and I did one more and I got the lift. Took off my equipment and that's when the pain all came. And, but I didn't want to really realize that I had an injury. So my, my boyfriend, Brad, came and said, you know, you gotta go to the doctor and took me to Carmine. And we found out I had my labrum torn, my tricep, and so I needed surgery, and I uh, had actually two surgeries on my shoulder. In the meantime there, my ankle locked up from an old gymnastics injury, and then in between there again, I had a severe kidney infection that was really serious and put me in the hospital for a while and really just knocked me off my feet, and that was hard to get back from. I felt like my everything was just taken from me. I, it was really hard, but I was actually very lucky to have a, um, a boyfriend that just supported me through that, you know, and helped me getting back on my feet. Then is the question, what do I do now? Because my body was just taken from me. Being inspired by another athlete, that's what's inspired me, even if it's in a totally different sport. I started training in June of 2008, and I won the World Championships in November. That was the 314 pounds left at 123 pound weight class. Yeah, my, my surgeon, he was, you know, kind of doubting that I was ever going to lift again. I just didn't want that to happen. I wanted to come back and at least try. I cannot give up. Just one day, I just felt that pressure back in my muscles and I was like, you know what? Yeah, I can do this. I'm going, yeah, I'm going to do the World Championship. 
my inspiration is uh, it's when people telling me that I have inspired them. That's the best feeling ever. I do handstands everywhere. So wherever I go, I have any pictures of me doing handstand if it's in, on top of my motorcycle or if it's on top of my mom and dad's patio at home in Norway or if it's on top of a roof or whatever, I always want to do the handstand wherever I go.